Hey everybody, you are in my kitchen. It's Stephanie and holidays are coming. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you everybody for sharing. Thank you everybody for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. Now before I get into my video, I hopefully this, it's gonna be a long video, but it's gonna be a short video because it's gotta cook in a slow cooker. But I want you guys to know that I will be giving away a $50 uh, Amazon gift um, certificate card, whatever it's called, uh, to one person, and we will choose the winner the first week, sometime the, the beginning of January. And I'm, my, uh, what you have to do if you want to be part of this is to you have to go on my uh, oatmeal raisin um, video that I did. It's out. And, or um, video number Sunday dinner number 34 I believe and where I'm talking about the cookie but I need you guys to tell me what your favorite cookie is so everybody can respond just tell me what your favorite cookie is we're gonna uh, do a random picking from there and one person will win a $50 gift certificate oh. my objective is to be between 8,000 and 10,000 subscribers uh, that's at, by the end of 2020 so I had to clear that up a little bit uh, and uh, we'll be doing the drawing in the beginning of January 2021 okay want to get that out the way and I want to thank you because you guys are wonderful just keep sharing keep liking and keep following me I appreciate it today I'm going to do some yams or candy yam, whatever you guys want to call it in the um, in my slow cooker this Sharita usually makes this for the holidays for us, but um, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna, but she actually with a little bit of whiskey, she told me to it, and give it a little more of a kick. But I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna do a kind of simple, but definitely should be delicious recipe. But it's in the slow cooker, so when you guys are ready to do your holiday uh, stuff, you need to you know get your slow look, your slow cookers going. You know, I got two of them. Get your slow cookies going and help get this dinner done. All right, so this is what we do. I've already cut up my my uh, yams. Harry, uh, can you see the yams? Okay, I already cut these yams up into like you know this kind of chunk, this this kind of chunk. You know, not real small, not real big, but they're all cut. I, I clean, you know, I skinned them and everything, and maybe have five pounds. I'm not actually sure how much pounds it is, but maybe. Maybe three, four pounds, about maybe four pounds, four to five pounds, I say, of um, yams. And they go in. That's what you do. You're going to put them in. It nearly fills up the pot, but it'll be a little less than this because once it goes down, once it starts cooking, it's going to get smaller. So in it goes. All right. The next thing I'm going to put in is, first of all, I need to put my, my glasses on. So simple, though. I'm going to put some, some vanilla. This is some vanilla flavor. You know how much I like this. I'm going to put some in. I'm going to say maybe it's going to be about two tablespoons, but I'm not measuring, but maybe two tablespoons of that. So it needs some vanilla, in my opinion. So I'm going to put some vanilla in there. That's what I do. And this, and this vanilla does have, you know, alcohol taste to it. It has alcohol in it. Plus, I'm going to add a little bit of this vanilla bean. I'm going to put a little of that in there. I'm going to put a few drops of that. I say tablespoon. Going to be very vanilla-y. Vanilla-esque. Just a little bit of that. Period. Then, I'm going to add some uh, cinnamon. That I'm looking at my cinnamon, I need to get more. But I need cinnamon. And this cinnamon, at least a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of cinnamon for all of these potatoes I have in here. So I'm going to sprinkle that in. Again, I am not measuring anything. Sprinkle that sucker in. Simple. And I'm also going to put in some pumpkin pie. Oh, okay. I had apple pie. I'm going to put the pumpkin pie. Here, this is some pumpkin pie. Um spice. I'm going to put some pumpkin pie spice in because pumpkin pie spice has uh, some cinnamon, some allspice, some ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. And all of that is perfect for, for um, some sweet potatoes. Again, it will be 
about a tablespoon of it, but I'm sprinkling it my way. Okay. Then, it's already smelling good. It smells so good. And let's see. I need to put some sugar in it, of course. I mean, it's, it's sweet potatoes, but I need to put a little sugar in. So I got brown, I have some light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar. You can use, you know, you can use actually um, granulated sugar if you want, but I'm gonna use this light brown sugar. And I'm gonna put about a cup. This, may, this is like a cup, I believe. Yeah, this is a cup. Put a cup in here. I'll show you what it looks like once I get it out. I packed it. There we go. All right. This is one cup of light brown granulate, a light light brown sugar. Okay, and I'm gonna put now. If you guys want to use your I call fake sugar. Use your fake sugar. I just don't do fake stuff. So, just don't eat so much. But I put it in there also. And orange juice goes in. Okay. I'm going to put about a cup, I think, of orange juice in here. Because it will make its own juice. I'll put a cup of orange juice in. So, here we go. There you go. There's a cup of orange juice to head it off. And it's going to make, like I said, it's going to make its own. Actually, that's orange pineapple juice. You can use orange juice, orange pineapple juice. It's the the, 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 the um, spice there. You know, the, the tanginess from both is going to make this wonderful. So I use orange, orange pineapple today. But you can use orange. And then I'm going to put about, let's say, this is some... Um, I could put, you could put honey, but this is um, maple syrup. And I'm going to put some maple syrup in maybe, maybe a half a cup or so. I'm going to put that in. About a half a cup. Just give it what it got to get. Just about a half a cup will do. That's it. That might not even be a half a cup. Maybe that was a quarter of a cup. But maple syrup works fine. It's organic, but it's good. It's better in fact. You can use honey or you can use maple syrup or whatever you you know you want to use. I also then would uh stir it up a little bit. I really would. I think I need to stir it and get some of it down to the bottom. Then that's all we want to do. Get it down, get some of it, get it mixed up a little. And during the um cooking time, I'll probably come back in. Stir it up again. Oh, forgot one of the most important things. One stick of butter. Just one stick of butter. This is unsalted butter. You could put a pinch of salt in it. And maybe as it gets a little bit more done, if I feel like it needs a little salt, I might put a salt in. But I don't think so. I actually don't think I am going to put it in. But that's unsalted butter. So, now I'm going to put the top on. We go clean it up a little, put the top on here, and it's going for a good four hours. I'm gonna put it on high for four hours, and I'll check it around maybe the two hour mark. But I'm gonna do this like high for like four hours. So I turn my uh, uh, slow cooker on, and then I press manual. Come on, press manual. And it's on high. Let's see how many hours it goes next. Nope. That's gone. All right, that's on high. Then I'm going to press program. It's for four hours. Then I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to press. Come on, enter. Press it hard. <laughs> anyway, now it's on for four hours. And we'll be back in four hours so we can see how it comes out. I'll tell you how long it takes to do it. And you could do this, put this on low, you know, put it on for overnight and it'll be done in the morning. You know, you can do it that way. And that's also a good, good idea so you know it's done and you're finished. But we will be back. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
All right, I'm back and my yams have been on for four hours. It went off and it's done. So I'm taking it, I'm gonna take it, I think I'm gonna turn it off. First things first, we're gonna turn it off. All right, done. Turn that off, open it up. And they are tender, because I already checked them. They're tender. And I even tasted a little bit and they taste good to me. Now, they're not extremely, extremely um, sweet. And if you really want them sweeter, then you need to add probably at least two cups of brown sugar. Or, you know, add yeah, at least two cups of brown sugar if you want it sweeter than this. But I don't need it sweeter because, you know, guys, I'm on my, my uh, Weight Watchers. And my Weight Watchers... I can have some yams, but I don't want to make it too sweet. I don't want to go too crazy because I'm going to be eating enough on Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm going to take some out just to show you guys what they look like. Oh, it smells so good. It smells heavenly. Okay, I'll sit here. Put a little bit on a dish so y'all can see what this looks like. Huh? All right, look at that. And I'm gonna put it right here. The yams, done in four hours. Here are my yams, done in four hours in my pressure cooker. I was on high for four hours and it's done. This is enough for us for sure for, for, um, for the holidays and some company. <laughs> so it's good. Uh, and I'm gonna give it a taste, it's real hot. And it's gonna be better tomorrow once I, once it cools off and the, the, the flavorings get all in it, which is one thing about Thanksgiving. You really ought to try to make your meals, most of the meals, ahead of time because the flavor of all will, will melt together and that food will be outstanding. So you really should try to get it done before Thanksgiving, all right? Or before Christmas or before Easter or whenever before. Give it a day so it can marinate well. But, because I know that's going to be even better tomorrow. And then I won't even... It needs even more sugar at that point, or nowhere, nor will anyone else. Okay, this is so hot. You guys, I bet y'all miss me doing this. <laughs> what well, Weight Watchers sometimes prevents it. Mm. Oh my God, it's good. Oh, that is good. That's good. It's going to be delicious, more delicious tomorrow. That's good. So try that. Try this recipe here for, for the holidays. Anyway, I right, people, have a happy holiday. Have happy, keep going with happiness going on. The world is going to get better, okay? I think so. I really do. God is good. All right, guys. See you later.